video we discussed how we can encode an ordered pair, an important idea in mathematics, into set theoretic language. So next I'd like to give another example about how we can use an ordered pair to encode another idea, uh, another very important um, object in mathematics into set, theoret uh, set theoretic language. So this is going to be uh, a function. So example a function. So when you talk about, when I learned about functions for the first time in my intro to proof writing class, we talked about um, we, we use this notation of a function from x to y where it sends for each for each value in the domain there exists a unique value in the codomain y such that you, we wrote f of x is equal to y so for each x value for each value in the domain there existed a unique y such that f of x is equal to y so how can we can we express this property so we need to find a way to associate um, values from two different sets together and how do we do this first give a definition this is again in air quotes because we haven't insofar as I haven't written down what we haven't discussed what the axioms of uh, ZFC are we don't really know that we can do this but hold your skepticism uh, for a little bit longer it all you're able to you you we will be able to to do this formally using the axioms okay so definition given given two sets big X and big Y the Cartesian product hopefully this is how you spell this the Cartesian product X cross Y is the set so we define the Cartesian product of two sets to be the set of all ordered pairs such that the first coordinate of the ordered pair is in the the is in x and the second is in y so we just take the collection of all 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 the ordered pairs okay, but now we can use this definition of a cartesian product to define um, to define a function a function Uh, f from x to y where x and y are both sets which is we're going to denote like this so as before um, So a function we define to be a subset of the Cartesian product of x cross y such that the following condition holds. Namely, for every x value in the domain, there exists a unique element in the codomain such that x comma y is in f. And then for notation, uh, we say or denote we say that f of x is equal to y if x comma y is in f. So what really the property that really made a function a function is this property here namely that you can take an element in the code in the domain and associate it with the unique value in the codomain this is slightly strange though because in the, de in the, the definition that you learn 
in an intro to proof writing class, you'd say that it's a rule or a mapping uh, associating each x to an element y. So the rule or mapping, it, it has this notion of definability. So we're able to explicitly say what the elements that each x is mapping to. Whereas in this particular definition, that's not the case. You can there'll be instances where you'll know that there is a function, but you have no idea what uh, how the function actually behaves or what it's actually mapping things to.